Let's begin with the beans. Have you ever seen beans grow as tall as this? Over four metres up those bamboo poles. Now you saw me sow these last November. And down below, I'm not joking, you can see for yourself, it's a sea of bush beans, different varieties. And they're so prolific. Look at this. These are what they call bush purple queen. And believe it or not, they're absolutely delicious and so blooming tender. And if you think the beans are impressive, where will you see the pumpkins? And they've gone absolutely berserk. They're only occupying four square metres. And I must point something out. You can see how prolific the growth is here. Well, this garden's watered by hand about two or three times a week, but the soil is full of organic matter. As for the pumpkin patch, it's more than pumpkins, it's zucchinis and cucumbers, the lot. And when I've planted them, I put in ones such as golden nuggets, where you get great clusters of them together, all in one area. And some of the bigger ones too, look at these here. This is ready to eat already, and it's lovely, right, and solid, right? And also, the zucchinis. Look, pick them, but pick them small. This is getting a little bit big, but it's still tender and sweet. What I always do, I always put the pumpkin tribe next to the sweet corn. These are natural companion plants, and you can see the way they've grown here. That's because we had one good heavy rain. You see the male flower there? Right, it's got very heavy pollen, and that falls down onto the female. That tassel there, and you can see the cob just forming there. And one of the marvellous things about growing sweet corn, and look at this, it's interesting. If you go right down to the very base, you can see they send out aerial roots. And there's a bit of a lump there, and there's more aerial roots there. It means if you motion very, very heavily, even up to about six or seven inches up there, you can virtually double the yield. Now look, you'll be amazed to know that I'm extremely proud of our potato patch. And yet it doesn't look much at all. That's because the tops have now died down. And of course, once the tops start to die down, you stop watering them. But underneath all this dead stuff here is the most unbelievable crop of spuds you've ever seen. I'll show you. These are the great King Edwards. And look at that. Magnificent. These are Tasman. They're red skinned. Here we go. Cool, look at that. I mean, aren't they beautiful? Be honest, right? These here are Kipfler. They're long like bananas. Smaller. There they are. <laughs> and the ones at the end, they're pink eyes. Probably the most delicious of all the potatoes you can eat. Absolutely brilliant. And the whole of the ground here is full of them. But there's more. It's the root crop bed. And parsnips always grow massive tops like this. But the part that we're interested in is, of course, the roots. And there they are. You know, that's already big enough to eat and they're magnificent roasted. Same also with a beetroot. They're quite small. But when they're little like that, they're so unbelievably sweet. The carrots... Look, this is the second crop. We're doing well. But you see, carrots of that size, very edible indeed. They're lovely. But I want you to look at the tops of these Swedes here. Can you see how they're covered with mildew? No big deal, because the part that we're interested in, again, is the base. And you can see it's magnificent big Swedes. Right? So you do nothing about the mildew.